Right now we're going to be discussing the Minuteman load. And when we talk about the Minuteman load, the, the Minuteman load falls into the category of lines that we typically are going to shoulder or uh, deploy with one member and we're going to try to uh, carry a portion of that load to our entry point or our objective. Uh, us usually when we look at the Minuteman load, the total length of the line is typically divided in half, half of which is shouldered, the other half of which is loaded so that we can pull it as a single member. And by doing those steps, they should be able to deploy the entire load, clearing the hose bed, and give you the full advantage of having at least one full working length at your entry point or at your objective. Shouldering that load aids in the deployment because it gets most of that hose where it is needed for entry. It, it moves most of our line, instead of being right here at the vehicle, right here at the side of the truck, it moves most of that line closer to the building. Typically this load is started with the nozzle side of the line, uh, depending on where that chick sand swivel or that connection falls within the hose bed. We're going to split that line in, in half, we're going to put the nozzle section down first, load half of our load on top of that nozzle just in a back and forth configuration, placing our loops wherever we want to, to be able to deploy it, whether it's a one-sided deploy or a two-sided deploy, and then we're going to finish by connecting the female coupling at the at the water discharge and then back and forth again placing our loops when we talk about um, this particular hose load it bec this is is easily adapted to whatever your hose bed width and or depth is um, so in this case we're going to be showing a Minuteman that is loaded two widths wide this, this load can also be loaded three and four widths wide. And the only difference is the, the height of the stack and where you place the loops. Some of the problems with this particular load are that when you come up, most of the time you're gonna see two distinct uh, portions of the hose. If you grab the wrong portion of that hose, you can create a deployment issue in terms of you pull that load off and sometimes if that, that other stack is too tall, it may fall over or, or um, get caught in a hose bed. So real important, it, one of the real important things here is to, to make sure that when you go to deploy this load, grab the nozzle side of the load and get it on your shoulder and make sure that you have the capability to deploy it. If the loops get forgotten during the loading process or, or you, f you don't place those loops properly, then we can have a, an additional deployment issue um, because it, it just becomes difficult to get your gloved hand inside that between the dividers and along and, and next to the hose. Additionally, if this load is not shouldered properly and you don't get that little turn and, and are able to keep that load compact on that, on that one shoulder, which whether it's the right shoulder or the left shoulder, then a lot of times that load, that stack of hose tends to fall apart, fall off. So that could create a deployment issue in that when you get to the, your, your point of entry, your, your objective, you end up with a knot of hose that, you, that takes additional time to then get kinks out and so forth. Um, when you're looking at, at loading this hose load, when you start talking about shouldering more than 100 foot of, of particularly medium sized attack line, your, your start, that stack starts to grow. Depending on the width of the hose bed, that stack starts to get higher on the shoulder, creating that instability at the top and the likelihood that you're going to end up with some of it on your arm. So. The Minuteman load is very versatile. It's a quick, it's an easy load to, to load and also deploy, but there are some subtle nuances to it that require that when you go up and you look at the hose bed, you have a good idea of what you're looking at.